who's not here and let them know that we, we miss them. Bingo is Tuesday night for the rest of this month and then we stop. And we don't meet for December, January, February, and March and then we'll start back in April. Pray for the countries of Ukraine and Israel. We need bingo prizes. I carried those this past week along with birthday cards to the nursing center. And there was a, a number of uh, people there in the nursing home that have COVID, so uh, I put on my mask and just went to the front office. I didn't go anywhere else. So, uh, but uh, COVID is still a problem in places. Uh, we need canned food for the food pantry. Uh, our results from our conference vote will be in on the conference website by Wednesday. We don't know anything yet. Uh, Nate voted uh, Saturday uh, for those on our MetaView uh, texting line. Uh, uh, he actually shared his vote for MetaView Church uh, with me, which I put on the, the website. Uh, right now, there are 644 churches remaining in the Western North Carolina. Line of conference. I can remember just a few years ago we had about 1,100. So it's, it's come down quite a bit. These 644 churches are spread across 44 counties um, going up through the mountains. There are 671 active clergy left in the conference. So you'll notice there's more clergy available than there are churches. So I'm not sure exactly how they'll utilize those people. Uh, again, uh, 113 churches, 23 in the northern Piedmont district, were voted on yesterday. So uh, I, have a, I have a good feeling that everything's going to be great, and uh, it'll, it'll take a, you know, a little while to get everything finished up. Diane's going to have to write a, a nice check for the conference, and uh, we'll get our deeds back in the name of Medivue Church and uh, uh, move forward. So uh, I'm, I'm thankful for that. Uh, at your seat, each family received a copy of our budget. Uh, that's for you to carry home and put where you want to put it. It's also two sheets that have our board, uh, official board, and also the, the various committees and, and, and different things that are there. So uh, we'll uh, ask you to look over that. And again, uh, I, I 
provided one per family. I have more copies if we need more, but uh, I thought one per family would be sufficient. You need your help. You know, I'm not a mind reader, and you're not a mind reader, I don't think. Uh, we're probably in trouble if you are. Uh, but if, if, if you have a prayer concern that you want to share with either me or some people in the congregation, please do that. You can even say it's an unspoken request, as people, some people have done. If, if, if you have needs, you know, let us know. If you go to the hospital, you know, let us know. Um, you know, I, I came here in 1974 as a member, and we didn't have an organ there. We bought an old organ, and we bought the one we got here in 1978. Still doing a good job. I came as 19 and 91 as pastor, and one of the covenants that I made with the church and most of those people have gone on to, to be with the Lord at this point, but that, you know, the congregation would help with visitation and reaching out, and, and, and that's only appropriate because we're a team. I consider you a, a team with me in serving God at this church. So, you know, if, if you see needs, if you know of needs, then, then you know, we, we need to share that back and forth so that we can do the very best we can in, in helping ourselves, helping other members of our church, the genders of our church, people in the community. So uh, again, uh, I, I, I need your help, and of course you need my help too, in, in order to reach that goal. Uh, do we have other announcements we want to share this morning? Do we have any birthdays? Anniversaries. Okay, as I said a minute ago, today is All Saints Day. And uh, several years ago, I actually went through and read a lot of the names of people that uh, have attended and, and worked at <coughs> this church for many years. Uh, today, I'm going to be lifting up two people, but I, I want to remind you that Saints aren't just somebody that's holy. Saints are everyday Christians. All of our imperfections, uh, all of it together, we are the saints. And uh, I appreciate everything that, that you do. Today, we are lifting up uh, two people that have passed within our church. Where several months ago we lost Bill. I'm lighting this candle for Bill Abisky. And just on Friday, uh, we lost the member who had been a member of this church longer than anyone else, and that's Shirley Stevens. So. I'm very thankful for these two people. They have special meaning for us. And um, I put the bulletin from Bill's service here and uh, I copied the obituary from a Fair Funeral Home um, with a picture for uh, Shirley. We praise God for all that Bill Hibiski has done in serving him, this church, um, uh, also um, Riverview Presbyterian Church, and, and so forth. And we certainly lift up Shirley. She's been a, a member, as I said, longer than any other person that was alive. That, that honor now passes to James. He, he's the, the now the person that's been a member of this church longer than anyone else. You have a sheet that I left at your uh, seat. Uh, please 